are here with Representative Tina Orwell from the 33rd District. How are you? Good. Good morning. It's snowing out there. Can you believe it? <laughs> Pretty cold. <laughs> so cutoff week was last week. A lot of bills died, but one very important bill of yours actually made it through. Yes. Talk to us about your foreclosure mediation bill. I've been working on foreclosure for several years, and unfortunately our state has gone from 25th in the nation foreclosures to 10th, and we're really in a crisis at this point. About 77,000 people have lost their home to foreclosure in the last two years. And what we found is that there's not enough consumer protection. We get calls that people are calling the banks, they're not hearing back, their paperwork's lost five or six times, and so we really wanted to create a strong system this year where homeowners would get support. And these aren't just individuals with subprime loans. These are people that have been in their homes 10, 15 years that have equity in their homes that are, aren't able to hear back from the banks to modify their loans. Yeah, it seems like the word foreclosure is no longer a word that you don't hear often. You actually hear it quite often among people in your family, your friends, your neighbors. It's pretty much everywhere lately. Unfortunately, it is. And part of it is just the deep recession. Mm -hmm. Because of unemployment or underemployment, it's been very hard on families making ends meet. Now this is not unique to Washington, and I understand that 27 other states are already doing some sort of foreclosure mediation, and now we're trying to bring it to the table as well. We are. We're adding it to one of the tools for our state to use, and what we're trying to do is really have a strong process up front for homeowners and banks to meet, and if that process does not work out, then there's another way to get a resolution, which is going through independent mediation. And that would be available through housing counselors and attorneys for any homeowner who could not get an answer from the bank. So walk me through the process. How would it work? If I am facing foreclosure, what, what would I need to do under your legislation? Well, the first thing is you would get a notice from the bank, and it would give you the information of who to call. And you could immediately call a 1-800 number and get a housing counselor. And the housing counselor actually can walk you through the process what paperwork and where to send it and who to contact and they can help get the face-to-face -face meeting with the bank and then after that process after meetings if you're not able to come to some resolution which would be reconfiguring your loan a short sale or moving through foreclosure then the housing counselor could ask for mediation and then an independent third party would step in, review all your paperwork, review the bank statements and the bank information, and decide if both parties had acted in good faith. Okay, two years ago you passed another bill that was about a meet and confer requirement. Right. Because this bill actually reinforces or strengthens that requirement. It does strengthen it. Unfortunately, what we found when we studied it last year is a lot of the banks were not offering meetings. And so right now, if they don't offer meetings or send notices, there's consequences as well as the mediation. Uh, we have what's uh, under the Consumer Protection Act, which means if the Attorney General's office gets complaints, they actually can fine or penalize banks for not following the procedures now. Okay. All right. Anything else you'd like to add about this bill? Well, I think it's a good bill. I think it's a critical time to help own homeowners, and I just hope that families are able to stay in their homes whenever possible. All right. Well, thank you, and good luck to you. Thank you.